Okay, hopefully it's recording. Let me just double check. And it is. Okay, so the first question was, the store sells six t-shirts for every seven tank tops. So six t-shirts. And I'll create a table here. T-shirts. Tank tops. This is going to be my ordered pair. All right, six t-shirts, seven tank top. And that's my order pair, six, seven. Okay, so uh, we need a few more points. Let's just um, use our ratio. You can edit it out. Just go something like this, and then six times six, and then if I sell another six shirts, that would be 12, which means I'll sell seven tank tops, which would be 14. Gives me 12 and 14. And another six would be 18. You know, let me just go straight. And another seven would be 21. Another 6 will be 24, another 7 will be 28, 18 and 21, 24 and 28. We'll do one more. Uh, let's go, so 26, 12, 18, 24, 30. And this would be 35, 30, 35. Those are my coordinate points. All right, so you got to be careful with your numbers here now to see what exactly... Uh, so 12, 18, 24, so 12, 18, so we didn't need this, we didn't need the 30. So before you start graphing, I want you to give it a title so we can go, uh, I don't know, closing, closing, uh, give it a title, t-shirt, tank, uh, sales, closing sales. Okay, let's label. And we're going to call this t-shirt over here. I'm going to call this tank. So let's see, one, two, three, we need to go up to 24 for this one. Do we have five? This is five, 10, 15, 20, 24. So we definitely can do six here. So six would be here. And I like to do this. That tells me where six is. Six, 12, draw that, extend that line at the bottom. 12, 18, 24. Okay, and if we want to actually go all the way, 30. On here, um, we can't get all, all the way. We can, can we get to 28? No, because this is a group of 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're going to have to use something else. So why don't we make every two boxes 7? Seven? 7, another two boxes 14, another two boxes 21. I we could actually make it, let's make it every three boxes. I like to space it out a little bit more. So we're going to count three boxes and make mark it 7, 3. 7, 1, 2, 3, 14, 1, 2, 3, 21, 1, 2, 3, 28, 1, 2, 3, and 35. Okay? Hmm. Much better. So now, we'll write 0 over here. We got to plot these points. 6 and 7 will be 6 here. It's 7. 12 and 14 will be here. 18 and 21 will be here. 24 and 28 about here and finally 30 and 35 would be about here this okay I can't I don't have a ruler or a straight line but at home please use a ruler and this should come out to be a straight line exactly a straight if it's not a straight line there's something wrong with what you did okay and it should go to the points so with a graph it's nice because I can ask you questions about uh, other numbers, like let's say 24, 25, 26, 27. What happens when I sell 27 t-shirts? You know, how many shirts, how many tank tops will they say? So I can ask a different variety of numbers, and you can just match up the numbers here to find out the answer. Okay, so a graph is nice because it's a visual, okay? And you can see um, a bunch of numbers, actually. Okay, that was that. Move on to the next one. So the answer, oh, oh thank God for technology. Huh? So we were looking for the answer was well, how many tank stops? If it's 12, 18, 24 shirts, well, 12. So for 12 shirts, you sell 14. For 18, you're going to sell 21. And for 24, it looks like you're going to sell 28 tank tops. Okay, so pretty easy to uh, navigate here. Let's scroll down. 
For every three package of Skittles, there are eight Skittles. I don't like that this question very much, but um, three package of Skittles, there are eight Skittles. Okay, it makes no sense. What kind of package only gives you so three packages of Skittles. So here I'm going to write um, packages. Packages. Let me try again. Packages. Skittles. And I'm just going to write the order pair, comma, comma. So you, you should recognize that. So if I have three packages, I get eight Skittles, and my order pair is three eight. All right, so that's my, my first point. Let's go again. So plus three would be six, plus eight would be 16. So when I have six packages, I have 16 uh, Skittles. Six and 16. When I have uh, plus three again, nine packages, I'll have eight plus eight, 24 Skittles. And we'll do one more. So about four points should be enough, sometimes five, but uh, so one last one. Um, 12 packages, I'll have plus eight is 32, so 12, 32. Here was plus three, plus three, plus three, and this side was plus eight. Plus eight, plus eight. Okay, an additive relationship here. So uh, let's give this, I don't know, packages of Skittles, Skittles. Let's just call it Skittles. Okay, and we'll call, we'll put packages over here and Skittles over here. Okay, so when I get three packs, so this one, these numbers are nice and small. Uh, the packages, so uh, let me, let me, three, six, nine to make, make it. Stand three, six, nine, twelve. Let me go fifteen just because I can. Now on the other side, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. So I'm gonna have to like squeeze this in. Oh, I can't make eight, sixteen. So how about every two? Eight, sixteen. Yeah. Eight, one, two, eight. One, two, sixteen. One, two, twenty-four. Another two boxes, 32. And let's go in one more box, 32, 40, even though they didn't ask. So this is zero. Three and eight, my first point. Three is eight. Six and 16. Nine and 24. 12 and 32. And 15 and 40. Notice that every movement to the right is three, 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 three. And going up is eight, eight. Eight, eight. Okay. Again, this should be a straight line. Extend that all the way out if you can. Use a ruler, please. And I could ask you questions about here and numbers over here. Okay, in this area. Okay. So even though you didn't ask how many, how many skittles will I have? Is fifteen packages? I will have forty. So let me go back to the question. It's three, six, nine, and fifteen. Oh, it did ask about fifteen. So with three packages, three packages, I'll have eight skittles. Six packages, I'll have sixteen skittles. Nine packages, I'll have twenty-four. Twelve, I'll have thirty-two, and fifteen, I'll have forty. Okay. Um, oh, what's point twenty-four nine represent? Oh, let me go back. Well, I guess they did it backwards, huh? Um, where they put 24 on the x-axis and 9 on the y-axis. So they did that. So 24, 9 um, represents what? They put the number of Skittles here at the bottom. Okay, and package number. So we represent backwards would be 9 and 24. So with nine packages, I can have 24 skills. That's basically what it means. Okay. Three. Pretty sure you have a bunch of questions on number three. That's okay. Um, in three, you're going to graph two lines on the same graph. Okay, it's a little bit uh, different, but not that complicated. Let me just charge up here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on. Yikes. All right, so 
<coughs> Ricardo bought a hundred keychains, so for fifteen dollars, so we have gonna have two people. So let's buy Ricardo over here. Ricardo for fifteen, and Sam. It's actually right here. So Ricardo is a hundred keychains. <coughs> And let's write dollars here, 15. Okay, that's Ricardo. And then Sam, I'm going to write it over here. He bought what? 200 keychains for $28. Okay, so let me just lower this. One second, let me just. No. Okay. That up. Oh. Mm. Mm. No. Okay, this is probably where you like turn it off. Okay, so there you go. And there you go. Good. So, uh, this is not right. Okay, here we go. So let's go Ricardo again. So if he buys two hundred keychains, why is this not writing? Two hundred keychains be thirty dollars. Why is this not writing? Okay, here we go. Two hundred keychains would be seriously. Thirty dollars. Wow, thirty dollars. Okay, let's try again. Thirty dollars. Three hundred keychains would be forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars. Okay. How about this guy? Two hundred. Four hundred would be fifty-six. Fifty-six, and again times two hundred plus two hundred is four hundred plus two hundred be six hundred. Twenty-eight plus twenty-eight plus twenty-eight would be eighty-four, I think. All right, so we have enough points. I think we can uh, plot these. So we're gonna call this keychains. Okay, and ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. I don't graph this by threes. No. So let's go over here. X. Let's make this a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see. So one hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Hey, and I forgot. I know the ordered pair here. So let's just pretend I did it. Four hundred. 500, 600 keychains, and I didn't write any of this. This is my money. This is my keychains. So let's do Ricardo for 100. Now, oh, here is going to be a problem. Do I do it by 15, 15, 30? Or should I do it by 10, 20, 30? I'm going to do it by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah. That's, every two is going to be 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Hopefully this works. So let me change. Blue is going to be Ricardo. So Ricardo 100. Gonna be 15, which is right about here. 200 is gonna be 30, and 300 is gonna be 45, which is between 40 and 50. So this is Ricardo right here, and a straight line as best as I can. Okay, here are your dots. 
And then <clears throat> Sam, 200 change, cost him 28, which is going to change colors here. Let's try this pink here. It's a little bit lower. 400 cost him 56, which is about 50, 50, 55, which is about here. And then 600 is going to be 84, which is right about here. 80, right about here. If you notice, Sam's line is going to be just a little bit, looks like it's under Ricardo's line. Okay, so let me just extend Ricardo's line. Okay, so. So you know that, and if you can, how do we compare? Well, let's just pick a number here. Let's pick for him 300 keychains. At 300 keychains, who paid more? Ricardo paid more. So this is money, right? At 400 keychains, um, Sam paid less. Look, I can tell right here. Okay, because it's about 50 something and. Recorder is maybe 60, above 60. So you can tell that the cost for Sam is much lower. Okay, so hopefully that's one of the questions at the bottom. How much less? Oh, I don't know. Let's see, a 200. Um, not that much less. At 400, the, the more the big chain. Uh, the more the keychains you you, uh, you buy, the bigger the difference is going to be. Okay. Why do the points plotted form a straight line? Because the uh, what do you call? It's a ratio that keeps repeating and repeating. So it the, the movement is always the same. So a hundred to two hundred, we're skipping by hundreds, by hundreds, by hundreds. Over here is by fifteens, by fifteens, by fifteens. So from on the x-axis, if you look at Ricardo, is from 100 to 200 to 300 to 400 to 500 and going up we went about by 15 by 15 by 15 so it's cons constant the con same uh, ratio repeating over and over and over again the same thing with Sam we went by 200 400 600 and going up by 28 56 and 84 okay you maintain that same ratio over and over and over again okay uh, clear annotations. I think we have one more, and we do. Can of tennis balls, and I'll write it some over here. So, can of tennis balls. So, that's right. Cans, money. And over here we'll write the order pair. No, just put that symbol here. The three cans cost me five dollars. And here's my order pair, three and five. If I go six cans, I'm gonna count me ten dollars. Six and ten. If I go nine cans, I'm gonna spend fifteen dollars. That's nine and ten, fifteen, sorry. And then 12 cans, I'm going to pay $20. And it's going to be 12 and 20. I'm going to pretend I, I'm going to actually erase the last one just so that you see that how we can use a, a, a graph here to predict. So let's go Yankees. No, Mets. Okay, so no, 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 no. So let's graph what we have here without the last one. Okay, so um, title, cost of tennis balls, tennis, can, cost of tennis balls, cans. We are going to call cans over here, the x axis, and we're going to call money over here. Okay, so 3, 5 would be 1, 2, 3, and 5 goes up. One, uh, let me actually do this. So 1, 2, 3, 6. 9, 12, 15, 18. So number of cans, 0 in here. Let's go up by 5. That's so nice. 5, 10, another 5, 15, another 5, 20. Oh, it's right here on top. 
So three cans cost me five dollars. Here's my point. Six cans cost me ten dollars. Nine cans cost me fifteen. Nine cans cost fifteen is right here. And if I could hopefully do a straight line. Okay. And again, extend the line all the way out, put an arrow. So at 12 cans, which is what I think the question was asking, how much would it cost me? Well, I can just follow. And obviously mine is, should have actually been over here. All right. Okay, so ignore that. Much better. Okay. And here is my what happens when it reaches 12 cans, how much price it be? $20. So even if I didn't create that part of the table, I could have just used the graph and go, and I can even, if this graph was bigger, find out what 15 cans would cost me by following this straight up. Okay. That's that. I don't think that was that difficult, um, but uh, nevertheless, hopefully. Uh, we got something here. So that's that. I'm going to post this like that. Mm.